Hi Capricorn, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. All right, let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Capricorn with a clear, concise message from you. So it is um, a reading we're gonna drill down on love and money. Let's talk about it. All right, let's see, we'll start with money here. What's going on in terms of money? All right, let's see. So the temperance card moderation maybe you need to slow down and you're spending you need to get on a budget whatever you're doing you need to do less of it okay with the temperance card um it says if you don't make any changes things will stay the same so something about change okay you know in the face of adversity you had a ten of pentacles so you have money or you have money stored up or you could be dealing with the virgo Something is ending though. It's, you know, maybe this, I heard this ride is ending or, um, you know, maybe the foundation is ending, it's shifting in some way. What's going on here for Capricorn? Yeah, okay, so your Maya or the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So some of you aren't single anymore. Some of you coupled with somebody is causing for um, maybe you taking on their bills or helping them out or um, you don't have your own business anymore um, you don't do something by yourself anymore therefore um, it, it depends on someone else compromise with someone else compromise in the home compromise in terms of you know money matters money problems um, now you have to run things over or run things by your better half uh, with the Ten of Pentacles, because you're not single anymore, you can't make decisions by yourself. Um, I'm just feeling like somebody ain't got no money, you got the money, you got to pay for everything, or it's the other way around. It's it's just that it's something is offset, you know. Um, what is this? Yeah, Three of Swords. It could even be you going through a divorce, uh, separation, you know. This could even be somebody misrepresenting themselves, misrepresentation, misinterpretation of somebody's financial standing, of somebody's, um, somebody communicated something to you that just wasn't true, that just isn't true. Somebody also could be paying a third party. Now, this could be the lawyer for the divorce. This could be an ex-baby mama, or it could be a baby dad. I don't know. It, it's somebody here who stands in the way of um, harmony within finances in the relationship because it looks like you're not single anymore or your your money depends you know your money making and your money decisions you have to incorporate family or family dynamic with the ten of pentacles coming out or maybe you're in a family business or you just can't do your own thing you can't be independent or you can't be independent within this dynamic um, you may be separating from it though with the three of swords. One more card for money. Okay, yeah, page of pentacles. So good news about money matters. It looks like you're gonna take some solo action in terms of trying to fix this or get it together um, or make something right or you're gonna make some investments or <clears throat> you're gonna pull from the savings account. Something about healthy, healthy way of living, healthy lifestyle. Um, maybe you're overloaded in your finances, okay? Uh, that's what's coming up. Let's see what um, love has to offer for you. What does love have to offer for um, Capricorn? Well, I just lost my train of thought completely. Right, what does love have to offer for you? Okay, so some of you are married. Um, you got a husband, the emperor or you are the emperor that is Scorpio, Aries, Capricorn, Taurus. Well, it's not always Capricorn, but it can be. Um, so in love, there could be somebody who's married. Hopefully you're married to this person. Let's see what's going on. Um, there's a foundation being laid. Somebody's rooted to something though. You have three of wands, the ace of cups, and the page of cups someone could be thinking about having a baby in the long term in the future 
saving for the baby or wanting to have a baby, wanting to become pregnant, wanting to start something new. Um, in love, it's like somebody has to take the lead in regards to starting the relationship. In regards to, oh, somebody needs to be more romantic if you're already in an established relationship. And if you're not in an established relationship, somebody is married and then they live far from you, and then they come to you and you guys have to start all over again. There's no progression in this relationship because it's like every time you see this person, it's a new start because there's so much distance between the two of you, maybe even space. So there isn't um, intimacy. It's not um, a bond or a strong bond. Um, so, so it's like always like a, a new start. Um, I heard petty, petty. I don't know, maybe they come to you with a petty offer. Um, they come to you trying to romance you or give you romance here. Um, something is definitely um, passion based and emotion. It's like somebody's trying to stir somebody's emotions um, by doing something so that they can get what they want from them. So if I'll do this, then it'll stir their emotions. This is manipulation, getting what I want. One more card for love. Yeah, seven of cups. It's like somebody wants somebody to be in an, in an illusion or in an illusionary state of mind where they don't make a decision, they don't decide on this relationship, or they don't decide to leave. Um, they don't decide to stay. This is somebody, who, or, or they make no decision. Making no decision is a decision. This is somebody who is cast in an illusion building castles in the sky, saying this, saying that, doing nothing, making promises and not making good on them. This is an energy where somebody just wants no strings attached type of relationship. But in order for me to have that with the Capricorn or if Capricorn is doing this, whatever, in order for me to have that, I had to create this illusion like we're in some relationship that's actually going somewhere. So somebody is, this is game or playing games Let's get you uh, a yeah. advice card, angel answer card here. Yeah, it's unlikely that they're going to change. If you believe you can achieve it, maybe getting out of debt, having a baby in the near future, if you're in a committed relationship, it's unlikely that you're going to get what you want from somebody who's already coupled yeah, you need to get more information because somebody's not being honest. They're telling you half-truths. This is what I have for you, Capricorn. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website and book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can also... Go to the website, use discount code 40 off so you can get 40% off your reading. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.